coming to you with words and teaching that will change your life forever. All things that you will ever need in your life, they're wrapped up in the Word. Go for the Word. And when you get a hold of it, keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. The Bible says in the city of Ephesus, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Can you shout amen? I said the course that I must follow. In the name of Jesus, prosperity is mine. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Pastor Chris, word hearing. Hmm. Okay, this aspect of it is praying as a missionary Christian. The missionary Christian prays differently. The content of his prayer, the concerns of his heart. What's your heart like? What do you think about? I just wonder what, what the content of your prayer is. This kind of prayer or praying that we're going to talk about has to do with you. No Christian can be successful until he is on the mission. We need to be conscious of the content of our prayer. And this is one of those things we pray about, that utterance may be granted us. Not just me, but my brothers and sisters as they go out today. We pray the same for ministers, but we pray for all of our brothers and sisters. That they be given utterance, an opportunity to preach the gospel. Now we can trust God for utterance, because when we open our mouths, he says, open your mouth and I'll feel it. So, what I'm watching out for is the opportunity. And when the opportunity comes, because I've been praying that way, I'm conscious. And my heart now is beating fast. This may be the moment. And I'm thinking, oh God, you've locked this guy in with me. I, 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 I've got to tell him. I've got to tell him. I've got to share it. This must be the chance. This must be the opportunity that God's given me. You know, because I'm conscious of it. I'm conscious of it. But if I don't pray that way, I never know when the opportunity comes. So this must be in the content of your prayer. Not just, oh God, as I go to work, bless me, protect me, protect my friends, protect everybody in Jesus' name. Oh God, grant me utterance today to preach the gospel. Create for me opportunities to be a witness for Jesus Christ. I thank you for this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Then your spirit is open. And, and because you pray that way, God will answer you and open the door. Hallelujah. God. Did you catch that one? Yes. All right, let's add another one to that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like to read, first of all, let me read to you what it says. How many of you got the Living Bible? Oh. Every Bible is living, I always tell you. But this particular one is more alive in some verses. <laughs> Let me read it from the Living Bible. He says, Don't forget to pray for us too, that God will give us many chances to preach the good news of Christ. I like that. That God will give us many chances to preach the good news of Christ. The New Living Translation puts it this way. Pray for us too. 
that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. He says, that is why I am here in chains. Many opportunities. Some others put it in the singular. They say, the opportunity. Praise God. All right, now, let's look at another thing we, we ought to pray about. Would you turn to Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1. Can you read verse 1 for me? That the word of the Lord, what? May have free course. I like that. Let me read it to you here from the New Living Translation. He says, finally, dear brothers and sisters, we ask you to pray for us. Pray that the Lord's message will spread rapidly and be honored wherever it goes, just as when it came to you. Pray. Pray. That the message will spread rapidly. King James says, may have free course. That means unhindered. That the word of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored. Look at the concern of this writer. And the consciousness that he wants us to have about the gospel. He says, pray that the message, the Lord's message... May spread rapidly and be honored. That means the missionary Christian has a focus. He thinks about the gospel. He thinks about the message. Are you still there? He thinks about the message. Thinks about the gospel. He's concerned about the gospel. For example, you know, people ask a lot of questions sometimes. Assuming you, you were selling something, you did something like a, let me take a simple one, a magazine. And uh, you were selling a Christian magazine. And uh, you came to uh, you, you came hawking around the church. You know, people don't live around here really. So, if you're hawking a magazine out there, it's those who came to church you're trying to sell to. As a missionary Christian, you don't come to make money 